Dr. Idil Kapiti Tari Tripolis Command has released a butcherman Shwaibu Yushao on bail after his arrest on July 8th for attempted suicide. Hi, welcome to What's Happening, where we bring you the latest news from around the world. I am Frances Oti and these are our top 10 stories countdown today. At number 10, Manchester United has signed 18-year-old French defender Lenny Euro on a five-year contract with the option to extend it for a year. Real Madrid was initially believed to be the top choice for the Frenchman, but Manchester United made significant efforts to persuade the 18-year-old to join them. Both clubs reached an agreement for an initial sum of £52.2 million, with potential add-ons of almost £7 million. Numerous flights have been grounded following a major global IT outage affecting airlines, media outlets and banks. This has resulted in long queues and delays at airports worldwide, including in New Zealand, Japan, India, Australia and Amsterdam. The exact cause of the IT outage remains unclear, however reports suggest that the outage may have been caused by a problematic software update from cyber security company CrowdStrike. Kenyan President William Ruto reappointed six members of his previous cabinet and introduced five new ministers in a televised address responding to youth-led protests that have pressured him to withdraw $2.7 billion in proposed tax hikes. The new appointments were quickly rejected by protest leaders who criticized the government's response. Ruto has, however, promised a detailed roadmap for the new cabinet's assignments. Gavi CEO Dr. Sanya Nishta has announced that cholera vaccines will soon arrive in Nigeria to help curb the ongoing outbreak. As of July 15th, the Nigeria Center for Disease Control and Prevention reported 3,623 suspected cases and 103 deaths across 34 states and the FCT, exacerbated by the rainy season's impact on water sources. The vaccines, funded by Gavi's Global Stockpile, aim to support the government's response to prevent further outbreak. The Defence Headquarters has announced a strategic overhaul of military operations in the Niger Delta to address concerns over transparency by international oil companies and combat crude oil theft. This move follows accusations by Liko Dangote and local refiners about price manipulation and obstruction of crude oil supply. Major General Edward Huber stated that the revamped strategy includes a unified command structure and enhanced surveillance. Seven individuals have been arrested in Yaba East local government area of Kogi State for their involvement in illegal gold mining. The Special Assistant of Media to the Minister of Solid Minerals Development, Shegun Tomori, said mining marshals dislodge the illegal miners whose activities have prevented licensed miners from assessing the site for 16 years. He added that the arrests were part of a broader federal government crackdown on illegal mining. Operatives of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA, have intercepted seven containers with 1,229,400 bottles of codeine worth 9.8 billion naira at the Oneir ports in Portakot River State. The seizure follows the interception of 6,125 cartons of codeine syrup worth 7.35 billion naira at the same port three weeks earlier. The agency's spokesperson, Femi Baba Femi, noted that this latest seizure is the fourth and final set of consignments under the watch of the agency's Maritime Special Operations Unit targeting team. The Lagos State Government has declared a 19-day traffic diversion on the Odoia Alaro Bridge starting July 22, 2024, due to the deteriorating asphalt pavement and expansion joints. Commissioner for Transportation Olua Shewun Oshiemi outlined the diversion in two phases, affecting the Ojota bound lane and the Yaba Utrelaba Maryland bound lane, with specific alternative routes for each phase. Motorists are advised to follow designated details via Alabere Ogudu, Obebi Link Bridge, and Ikorodu Road, among other routes. The Federal Capital Territory Police Command has released Shaibu Yeshao on bail after his arrest on July 8th for attempted suicide. 
Following the mental assessment by the FCTA Social Development Secretariat, Yushar was found mentally stable but showed signs of anxiety and persistent worry. The assessment recommended that you shall report weekly for further psychosocial care. The federal government has set a goal to acquire and install a minimum of 2 million electricity meters annually over the next five years to address a significant metering gap. Minister of Power Adebayo Adelabu highlighted this plan during a tour of metering solutions manufacturing services in Ibom State. Adelabu stressed that metering is crucial for accurate billing and reducing sector losses. That's all for today. You can get the full stories on our website and follow us on all our social media handles to join the conversation. See you next time on What's Happening.